Hello guys, welcome to the channel. My name is Vijay and I am a Microsoft MVP in SharePoint. In today's video, I am going to explain you how we can create different type of SharePoint sites by using PowerShell. So this video is going to be very interesting. I'll also explain. You can see the whiteboard here. I will tell you exactly what is the problem that you will face when uh, try to create the uh, you know different types of sites. And in my last video, I have explained how you can uh, create sites like different types of site that you can create uh, by from the SharePoint admin center. So this video we will focus purely on the PowerShell side of it. So what I'll do is I'll now I'll go there to the whiteboard and explain you what are the different kind of sites and what are the different things that you will use and most importantly what are the problem that i faced during while create trying to create a, a you know different types of sites okay now let me first explain it here and i'll take you to the system as well we will run the commands and we will see also how we can create different type of uh, sharepoint sites so first of all you understand that we can create two types of uh, sharepoint sites modern sites one is a group connected site you can see it here and the other one is you can see here not which are not connected to the group so while creating a site using powershell uh, there are there are a couple of things you can use one is the sharepoint online management shell you can use you can use uh, pnp as well and uh, others also you can use but uh, here we will see how we can use SharePoint management cell to create this which are the groups which are not connected to the group but when I will try to do this that is not it's not working on that and also if you'll uh, you know, look at various solution on this like new Azure AD MS group unified group these things you know people will recommend it but this will only create the groups office 365 groups it will not create the sharepoint site because when we talk about the modern site which are group connected that means behind the scene it should create a sharepoint uh, team site as well but it will not work if you we'll use these things for the classic sharepoint site there is no problem on that always you can choose the template i think there are uh, you know different types of templates are there uh, for like blank site, team site, uh, classic and uh, uh, the modern team site will be STS, uh, I think as 3. Uh, so this will be the modern team site, which will not be a group connected site. So that we will use SharePoint management cell. Even you can, when you will use a team, like if you will try to create a team, Microsoft team, then behind the scene, it will create a Microsoft, uh, you know, modern SharePoint site. But the problem is what I saw is the URL. So I don't know, probably I have to check uh, if there is any URL which we can pass it, but I didn't get that. But if you we'll use PNP PowerShell, then there are, uh, there are very easy ways to do it. Just you need to change the parameters for, you know, modern team site, classic site uh, without a group and also for the communication site. So now what we'll do is we'll go to the system and we will execute all the commands. And don't worry, like to install or to work with PNP, then just you need to run the installation commands i'll put all these things i'll show those things as well in the system so now let's go to the system and we will execute and we will try to create all different kind of sites you can use any editor uh, to run your powershell script i'm using visual studio code if you want you can use this or even you can use windows powershell iac as well now let me first open the notepad if you'll see here what we will do first is we can use the n new hyphen spo site command to create a sharepoint site now this will create a site which will which will not be a group connected site instead it will be a uh, site which is a like within the group connector but it will be modern site because we are using the template sts has three that is for the modern site if you want to create a blank site or classic site classic team site let's say you want to create then you can use sts uh, has zero and if you want to see all the templates you can run this command but before that you need to connect to the sharepoint uh, uh, you know uh, sharepoint site or your admin center you can say uh, so for this you need to provide the url as the admin center url you can see it here because i am here using sharepoint online management shell if you are running this command and uh, if error is coming that this command is not exist or something like that that means you have not installed sharepoint online management shell simply you can search for sharepoint management shell and install it so after that your spo commands will be available so what i will do now here is i'll copy this command 
okay i will paste it here i will just change the name of the sites so here i will say demo uh, power sale uh, uh, site and uh, i'll give the title as uh, like you know demo power sale uh, team site okay so again this is going to be a modern site let me just tell you i'll just run it first of all you can see here i'll just run it so once you run it it will ask you for the credential so i'll put uh, the username and password you can see here. i'll just copy it here and i'll put the password okay meanwhile it is running you can see here the power cell is running so it will take some time and then it will create it so this command is easy where when you want to create a modern team site or you want to create a classic site or a publishing site which will not be group connected site but if you want to create a group connected site then i will i will tell you what are the best approaches now uh, so meanwhile it is uh, creating this site let me first tell you a couple of other commands which are very easy to execute or to use it now to create a, a modern team site which will be like let's say a group connected site if you'll go to the internet you will come up with various command like you know people will say if you'll create new hyphen unifier unified group this is a you know exchange online command so first you need to connect to exchange online you can see here you will need to connect it here and then you run this command the problem is it will create the group but it will not create a team site same thing will happen here okay though microsoft is saying that uh, to create uh, i mean if you create a group then behind the scene it will create a serpent team site but in this case i have run these commands all these commands i have tried i have even seen in the internet people are telling that for same uh, for them also same things are happening even if you, you connect to azure you run this azure commands uh, or exchange command like uh, unified group or new azure uh, new adms group so microsoft group basically this way right so if you do this i will show you that of even i created the it is creating the groups but it will not create the um, you know uh, the sharepoint site the associated sharepoint site you can say now if you'll see here now you can look at it here our site got created that means if i'll just copy this site url you can see here i'll go to here if you'll search here it will come here also but let me just put it here now the site you can see here this is a modern site but this is not a group connected site this is a modern sharepoint team site right and uh, so you can maybe later so this is the site you can see here like in, if it is a group then it will come uh, the group things as well so now what i'll do here is i will okay there is now we will see how what is the other way that you can create a group connected site now if you want to create classic and black you can just simply replace this uh, uh, templates and then you can change the url and the title so i don't want to execute that again if you want to create uh, a group connected site uh, as i said these commands all this um, you know either uh, unified ad group command so let's say you use this i will simply let's say i will go here i will put this now if you will see here i'll just change to engineering department uh, power cell i'll just add it and uh, i will say here power cell okay so if you will see here ideally uh, you know when it is when you will execute ideally it should uh, you know create a, a group as well as it should create a uh, sharepoint connected sharepoint team site as well but we will see that uh, it will not create one second seven i'll just put the password now when it will execute you will see that uh, um, it will just take some time and execute it you we can see it here so it will create the group which we can see if we'll go to the admin center uh, sorry if we'll go to admin.microsoft.com which is the microsoft 365 admin center we'll be able to see the group now you can see here engineering department power cell i'll go here now let's say uh, you know if we'll go here i'll just search for uh, maybe this group name you can see here i'll just search on this group name now let me you can see here the second one right the second one it got created you can see the group email address everything created correctly but if i'll go to uh, the admin center you can see here this is the sharepoint admin center i'll just refresh it once you can see here i will try to search for it 
you can see here it didn't create it didn't create okay so you know i have tried different combinations all these thing it didn't work so same way if i'll tell you even if you'll use uh, this command also new hyphen azure adms group it will do the same thing it will create it but it will not create the sharepoint site so we will not go into that but if you will create a microsoft teams okay if you will create a microsoft teams if you want to connect with the microsoft team then of course you, you need to install the commands so uh, that that's okay that you can get it but once you do it now let me go here i'll go here now let's say we create powershell i'll do i this is the default things which i already tried on this so you see here i will run this now what will happen in this case particularly is, you can see here it is asking to to take this credentials okay i'll put it and then what will happen is it will create a team okay it will create a team it will create a group as well if you'll go there you will see the group as well but uh when you'll go to the sharepoint team site or when you'll try to open the sharepoint team site the problem will be with the uh url of the site let me just let it complete then i'll show you by going to the admin center and how exactly this is working now you can look at here it is saying that this has been created so what i'll do here is i will go to the same uh, let's go here and i'll search for this one you will see two groups should be there the second one which we got created now okay now i'll go to the sharepoint admin center probably if i'll search on this you see the second one right you can see it here this address is having the issues uh, you can see here it is taking uh, you know this way uh, again uh, it is taking ms teams underscore and then some random number uh, the gid it is a good it is putting now it is a group connected site also that is also fine uh, anyway we nowadays if you want to can uh, get this site and then you can uh, write a command which will uh, whatever the url if you want to give you can do that as well little bit of you need to do uh, some operation on that so this is fine it is creating both modern team site uh, like group connected as well as a you know active uh, the microsoft 365 group also it is creating but i would suggest you go for pnp commands okay so i will just if you will just see here now this is the new hyphen pnp site this is the command which will create a group connected site which will create a, a communication site as well as a modern site without a group uh, connected to it now if you look at closely look at the uh, you know the syntax so if you'll see here type uh, then team site that means it will create a modern team site which will be a group connected site if we'll provide the uh, parameter hyphen type as communication site then it will create a communication site if you will say team site without microsoft 365 group as simple as this it will create a team site without a group associated with this so this is the best thing that you can do the simple installation steps are there you will run this command so let's say to interact with your uh, you know uh, the sharepoint commands you can install this one to over there and then it will you will be able to communicate with uh, you know um the you'll be able to communicate with uh, uh your sharepoint from pnp okay so now i will put this now you can see here carefully see here this is the default command i have copied i'll just put powershell over here you can see and uh, now look at this so if i will now run this you can see here now it is asking me if you look uh, down it is asking me provide the url again in this case you don't need to provide the uh, you know admin center url uh, remember this you don't need to pass the uh, you know admin center url you can just enter it now i'll need to provide the username and password you can right so then it will take some time and you will see that it will create uh, a site having that url as well So if we look at here it is saying that uh, this is uh, the alias is exist on that so if we'll see here now this one is exist so uh, probably i will say power cell i'll do like this let's see so now i'll run this command again hopefully now this should work so hopefully it should create 
now you can see uh, the url uh, it, it create this url you can see here if i'll open this uh, it should be you can see this is there right so uh, even if you'll search for uh, let's say in the groups so it should be it should be able to show you that all as well you can see here the second one the email was creating the problem now you can see here it created the group as well right so in this way you will be able to create a group connected site and i would highly recommend that you can use pnp commands super easy to uh, you know use this command as well and if you like this video kindly subscribe to the channel i will uh, you know make more videos similar kind of videos where you will get in depth knowledge on uh, you know microsoft 360 web technologies thank you and have a nice day